Good morning, everyone. Good morning from Bangkok and exactly from this beautiful park next to Chao Tu Chak Weekend Market. So today's vlog is about how expensive is Thailand in 2023. As you know now, we are in July and I want to share with you my experience if you are coming to Thailand as a tourist or maybe you want to live how much to spend to have a better vacation or maybe a better life. So it will be very interesting and informative vlog. Let us start it right now. Now the first expense I want to talk about in today's vlog is the transportation. Of course you are coming to Thailand, you are not going to spend your vacation at your hotel. So how much you should spend or may spend on transportation and moreover how much did I spend till now which means till June on my transportation expenses in Thailand. Now in Thailand the transportation ways are a lot especially in Bangkok but the prices and the comfort differs from one way to another. For me, I always go for public transportation, BTS, MRT, the airport link, fast and not so expensive. But if you use it on daily basis, then you will spend a lot. For example, 18 to 40 baht per way as an average. So daily, you will be spending around 50 to 100 baht. And if you are using taxis or tuk-tuks, then the average these days are from 50 to 200 baht per trip and the motorbike rides are from 15 to 80 baht. It all depends on the distance. As for me, I spend daily around 60 baht on transportation and I use my scooter in my area for short distance trips. Moreover, I use the skywalks which is my advice to you if you want to explore around. So once you are somewhere, you can explore around by walking from one place to another using the skywalks. In this way, you will save a lot. But yet again, you will spend daily on transportation, not less than 50 baht. For me, I spend monthly at least 1500 baht on transportation. As you heard guys, it depends how much you move and what kind of transportation you use while you are exploring around in Thailand. Now the second thing that we are going to talk about in today's vlog is the food. How much you might spend on food while you are enjoying your vacation in Thailand or maybe you are living in Thailand. When we talk about food in Thailand, the gap is big between local and international food. Big difference in the prices and quality. So let us start from the local food. As an average, you will be spending between 50 to 100 baht on a local meal in Thailand, street food or local stalls. So it will be around 300 baht a day for three normal meals. And here it also depends where you are staying or buying from. The fancy touristic areas, the street food can go up till 200 baht per meal. And in local areas, you can get the same portion for 40 to 50 baht. Hence my advice, if you are staying for long term, then choose local areas to have the best quality and of course to save. International food and restaurants in Thailand, things are not cheap, even for the fast food chains. When I say not cheap means if you eat international food on daily basis. For example, a burger or pizza from fast food chain can cost you around 300 to 500 baht, while a meal in international restaurant not less than 600 to 1000 baht. And if you go for fancy places, then you might be spending more than 3000 baht on a meal. So as you see, if you want to visit Thailand or let's say live in Thailand on international food, then you are going to spend a lot maybe 1000 baht per day. As for me, I have my daily and weekly formula. I won't be eating all the time local Thai food. And at the same time, I won't be spending my money on international food. So finding the balance between them is the best choice as a tourist or long-term stay. And moreover, knowing the best option like food courts, restaurants, street food will make you eat the best with low prices. So my advice to you, check the food courts and you will find good choices. For me, I spend 12 to 15,000 baht per month on food. Mm -hmm. 
Well, coming to Thailand and not spending on shopping, that's a little bit strange. So how much you might spend on shopping in Thailand and how much did I spend? Here we come to the shopping. Let us start from the groceries and daily needs. Now in Thailand, when you are into shopping your daily stuff, you better choose from where to buy. For an item or two, 7-Elevens or any convenience store is okay. But for your weekly shopping, then you should choose the best markets, like Lotus, Big C and Micro. Cause here you will find the best deals and of course better options. Again, if you are shopping local products, then you might save a lot. Like getting a toothpaste only for 20 baht, a shampoo for 50 baht and a deodorant for 70 baht. But you can also buy the same items with known brands for 200 to 300 baht. As for me, the local items are great and cheap. Why to go for expensive stuff? And I spend around 2000 baht per week on my needs shopping in supermarkets. But as I said, if you shop from 7-Elevens or expensive markets, you might be spending a lot. So choose wisely. Now what about markets and malls? For clothing, fashion accessories and other items. Here the equation is so simple. First, you must know what to buy and from where to buy. Cause if you are buying things from the wrong places, then you will pay a lot. So if you go for local items in local markets like Chatuchak, Pratunam, Sampang, then you will save a lot. Items here can be between 20 to 100 baht. So shop till you drop. In malls like MBK or Platinum, again you can find good deals. All the local items are so cheap. And moreover, if you want to buy copy items, then bargain. And yet again, you will find good deals. Now what about original brand items? First, if you are looking for the latest brands, original stuff, then let me tell you, you will not save a lot and sometimes more expensive than your own country. The fancy malls are a lot, the high-end brands are available. If you want to shop, then go for it. But if you want to save and get the best deals, then Thailand is amazing. In the year-end sales, the prices drop more than 50% and also you will have all year promotions from previous models and stocks. So as for me, I grab the opportunities and get the best deals. Original but cheap. And again, I spent between 3000 to 5000 baht a month on shopping. So my advice to you, by watching my shopping vlogs, you will know what to buy and from where to buy. As you heard guys, it depends what kind of shopping you are doing in Thailand and moreover, if you are buying original items, then you are not going to save a lot, while if you are buying local or maybe copy items, you might be saving some money. Now let's talk about some lifestyle expenses like haircut, gym, massage and how much you might spend while you are in Thailand. Here we come to the lifestyle and entertainment and this cause if you want to stay in Thailand little bit longer than a tourist. So maybe to shape up little bit in the gym, have some massage session, hangouts and more. How much you could spend? If you want to shape it up, then there is gym for every budget, starting from 500 baht per month to 3 to 5000 baht per month. As for me, I have my gym included in my condo, my swimming pool and moreover, I prefer the outdoor activities in the beautiful parks. More than closed gyms, so I spend almost zero baht on such things, a bottle of water and I am ready. So my advice to you, you can do such things for free in the public green parks. This is Thailand, it will amaze you. Now for hangouts like cinema, pool play and such things, it will cost you from 600 to 1000 baht. So it's kind of not cheap. As for me, I spend around 3000 baht per month, especially cinema and some other hangouts. But again, I prefer the outdoor activities. Some months I won't even spend a baht. My advice to you, enjoy the outdoor activities and why not, some movies per year will be okay.
Of course, having some massage sessions will be great in Thailand. Nowadays, these things are getting little bit expensive, especially in Bangkok, but you can find very affordable places in local areas with good services. As an average, it will be between 200 to 500 baht per session, which is so cheap comparing to other countries. As for me, a session per week will be okay. I spend around 800 baht per month on such services. Another major expense in Thailand is the nightlife. I think we should talk about it and of course tell you how much I spent personally on nightlife in Thailand. Now nightlife in Thailand and its prices little bit tricky. Cause if you go for normal nightlife, like some hangouts, drinks and walking streets, local bars, then your night will not cost you more than 1000 baht. And I am sure you will have fun. But if you are into high class nightlife, sky bars, fancy clubs, then you will spend between 5000 to 10000 per night. It's good but it's expensive. The third choice is the red light districts. Here the sky is the limit. The choices are a lot. As much as you pay, as much as you get. As you heard, the sky is the limit. For me, I don't spend a lot on nightlife in Thailand, maybe sometimes. What about you? How much you spend on nightlife when you come to Thailand? Now let's talk about little bit on medical expenses. Hopefully you are not going to get sick while you are in Thailand, but we should talk about it. As a medical expenses, let us start from simple drugs and medications. They are so cheap in Thailand. In the pharmacies, range from 10 to 100 Thai baht, like headache, tablets, or fever, cough, and such simple things. And concerning hospitals, if you go for public hospitals, again, so affordable. A doctor checkup and prescription won't be more than 500 Thai baht. And if you go for private ones, then it could be between 1,500 to 3,000 baht. Now, if you are looking for special treatments and services, then the prices are high. But the services are so good as a medical tourism. So hopefully, no one gets sick. So as you heard, private hospitals are not cheap in Thailand. But of course, if you go to public hospitals, then it might be okay. So in general, nowadays in Thailand, you might be spending 1000 baht a day as a tourist. And as an expat, you can spend around 35 to 70,000 baht per month. As for me, I spend around 70,000 to 100,000 baht, including my accommodation and flights, and sometimes even more to upgrade my filming gears and my international trips. So it's not cheap, yet it's affordable. Now my friends, as you see, Thailand is not cheap in 2023. Of course you can save, but if you are going to spend, then you can spend and the sky is the limit. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.